Hi, it's Jim Lee again, uh, doing the inking voiceover for the Jenny Sparks sketch. Um, I usually start inking by uh, filling in the eyebrows. Uh, they convey a lot of emotion, um, obviously the eyes, but the eyebrows, the way they're arched, um, can really uh, create a lot of different subtle uh, emotions, a lot of subtle facial expressions. Um, see, I just kind of greek in the nostril and then the shadow of the nose on one side. Um, on a figure about this size I find that uh, putting in the shadows whether it's on the side of the nose or on the underside of the hair really creates more volume than if I literally go in and draw the outline of, of a nose. Um, so even on, on, that, on her left side of the face, our right, I dropped in a little thicker line on her cheekbone to suggest um, a slight shadow um, the light source being on the upper left hand side of the page. Um, by dropping in a shadow underneath the the head on the neck area creates a little three dimensional three dimensionality and it pops the head off the figure. Um, now I jump to the next important thing, the pint of Guinness in the hand. Um, when I ink myself, I my pencils tend to be this loose. When I when I pencil professionally for, for Superman, uh, pages I give to Scott Williams, they're much tighter. Um, there are examples of it uh, on the blog, so you can check that out. But when I ink um, myself, I, I find that uh, I get very bored sort of tracing finished lines, and so I like to give myself a little bit of a challenge, put some loose structure there, come back in with, uh, uh, you know, with a marker or a brush, and really uh, sort of draw on the fly. It, it allows you to keep a lot of the vibrancy of the drawing, a lot of the dy dy dynamics that uh, you get in a gestural type drawing. There I screwed up the uh, the forearm. It was too long and so I just put in a new elbow and I'll white that out later. Um, again, a good example of using shadows to convey form, um, just sort of thick lines underneath the breast. I'm not going to draw perfect circles. Um, you also notice that uh, when I draw the, the limbs, like the arms, uh, I, I tend to draw on one side for a little bit and then jump to the other side for a little bit because I'm constantly cross-checking where my points of reference are. So I, I really can't draw um, the outer part of the forearm without knowing exactly what the inner part looks like because the two curves, the two shapes, uh, the two lines really um, relate to each other in a very precise way. Uh, here I'm just sort of greeking in um, her rib cage, uh, her belly, um, her belt. Um, the marker I'm using actually is a um, it's a uniball. It's a fine point uniball, and it has permanent ink in it, and it does not fade. It does not um, turn yellow. Um, I wouldn't use it for professional inks. Use a uh, Hunt's 102 Croco pen or a Rapidograph uh, with India ink, um, but for sketching, for uh, design work, these are great. Um, permanent ink, like I said, uh, very transportable and uh, they give you a pretty good line. Um, here, I'm putting some of the detail in. Um, I love putting those little lines on the hips, uh, create some real form. You can sort of see now the undulation across the belly. Uh, down uh, to, to the edge of her hip, um, putting the details into the cargo pants. Um, when I do regular clothes, uh, when I non-spandex type outfits, I really uh, like to put the sh uh, the, um, the folds of the, in, of, of the clothing in al almost with one line. Uh, you'll find that I, I rarely pick up the uh, pen off the paper when I'm doing um, the wrinkles. Um, I think it approximates the way clothes really look. Okay, now I'll go back in uh, and beef up some of the lines, some of the contour lines, some of the uh, exterior lines with the pen um, to give the, the drawing a little bit more weight. Um, I'm not uh, a great anchor. Um, I'm, I'm passable, I would say. Um, but I enjoy it. I, I, I can't do it all the time. I get, I get bored pretty quickly. But every now and then it's fun to, to uh, grab a croco pen, 
a rapidograph a brush uh, and give it a go. Here I'm doing the detail to the Union Jack and uh, in about uh, five seconds I'm going to screw it up. Um, I think it's right here. It's like right there. Oh, oh there. Can't really see it in this video, but um, as, I, as, I, as I'm going along, I, I sort of make mental notes where I've made mistakes, and I'm going to come back in with whiteout and take care of that stuff. Um, I'm just going to do the line work, and then later I come back in with um, some India ink and a brush and fill in my major black areas. Then I'll come back in with whiteout, fix the corrections, and then come back in with marker again, add some more detail, and then a whiteout pen to add some whiteout detail. Here I am now working on the big gorilla head in the background, the big monkey head. Um, because it is a furry texture, I sort of stop the line a little bit more to create um, dits and dats. So there, there are areas that are broken. Um, it's not one clean fluid line. Try to keep it slightly jagged, a little more organic than um, what I was doing on the human figure. Um, I don't know what else to say other than monkeys are they're fun to draw. <laughs> okay, monkeys with big teeth. Um, if you notice, I, I, I sort of do the outlines of the teeth. I don't draw each tooth by itself. I find that if you draw each tooth, it, the, it can look a little toothy. It can look like they have too many teeth. I find that by drawing the outlines like I just did there, I get, a, I get something that looks more like reality than if I went in and actually drew each tooth um, individually. Here there is some good old-fashioned rubble. Rubble is great for um, setting up your compositions. Um, I really learned how to draw my rubble from Mike Golden. He was the master rubbler. <laughs> um, and I do this, you know, so, I, I, I didn't pencil any of this, so I'm just sort of making it up as I ink. Um, it's a lot of fun. You're sort of reacting to the line as you put it down. Um, there is uh, Sometimes you get in the groove and, and things just really fly off the pen and you don't really have to think about it at all. So it's very uh, instinctual.